into the depth of who is having pain and who am i with that when i started looking into the depth one fine evening evening of a full moon day it was a very powerful experience the full moon day evening all the the whole thing around me felt alive let me describe exactly what happened i was sitting at the foothills of arunachala where i was born and brought up it was full moon day evening suddenly something opened in me and i could see and feel how much i am alive inside my skin the same frequency the same depth i was feeling i am alive outside my skin everything in everything on the rock i was sitting the trees next to me the temple near me the hillock around me the sky above me and the moon sun which was setting moon which was rising i felt i am alive in everything around me everything around me is alive just like my body see how all of you feel you are alive inside your skin with the same depth and the same frequency i felt i am alive completely with everything around me and i could see everything around me the 360 degree above and below side everything i could see without turning my head without opening my eyes with closed eyes i could see everything complete 360 degree around me and i could experience i am alive with everything around me so this experience made me realize we are one with the whole cosmos whether we want it or not the truth is we are whole we are one with the whole cosmos the cosmos is one with us this experience awakened a very powerful knowledge and vision clarity in me i was able to understand everything expressed whether in the vedic scriptures upanishads or bible or the sacred spiritual scriptures i i was able to realize all the truths described in the sacred scriptures and i was able to vibrate with those expressions of the sacred scriptures i can say this experience opened the intense energy flow it opened me to the metaphysical world and the powerful healing energy flow and it gave me tremendous confidence courage love life and experience of enlightenment and so how did that experience which i think is so awesome that you're able to share it with everyone so that they can have that understanding from the perspective of someone who actually physically experienced it i think so many people talk about it and mm-hmm. think it's out of their reach and i love that you're sharing it and you're being it and you're embodying it you are it and it's an example for all of us to be able to follow i'm assuming that that experience led into these teachings how long between that experience did it take for you to realize your mm-hmm. mission i can make your purpose here you see Uh, when that experience happened two and a half days 
i was in that samadhi in that what do you call the transcendental state then i could see my body's capability to radiate energy and my brain's capability to understand the life as expanded i could see very clearly i started carrying the magnetic field of completion in me that extraordinary completion i felt with me and others extraordinary completion i was feeling with me and the world i could see that the identity i carry about me and the identity i project me to the world and the idea i have about the world everything has fallen into a sink in the synchronicity it it all started expressing very synergistically the idea i have about me the way i express me to the world and the way i experience others and the world all the three aligned itself in one line there was no conflict contradiction or powerlessness with all these three see all the suffering and pain is because there is a conflict and contradiction between how we feel us and how we show us the inner image are you here with us swami ji are yes, you there i am i am here with you thank you yes yes uh was just sharing with the people a little bit about the inner awakening program yes. it is a 21 day retreat in yes. india is that yes. correct and yes. you were sharing yes. just yes. about that before we 21 day retreat in india in my headquarters a huge sprawling monastery complex and temple complex this one of the buzzing i can say happening monastery temple complex Uh, and are there levels to to these retreats is it yes, I can all encompassing that, uh, or is it see, something that people first, would come more than uh, once uh, first uh, oh you see actually first 10 days is a level 1 and the next 11 days is a level 2 but people usually attend both together anything is okay you can do both together see first 10 days we help people to identify their root patterns the root patterns which makes them again and again feel powerless it can be sometime a deep root pattern that uh, guilt or fear mix of guilt and fear or wo- feeling worthless this all can be the root pattern we help them to identify from what which moment of their life the root pattern has started growing in their life with which they are struggling again and again which they are repeating in their life again and again and help them to complete with it complete with that root pattern so once they complete the root patterns in the first level inner awakening in the second level i help them to rebuild their new life to experience their new consciousness with higher consciousness rebuilding their new being new lifestyle new breakthrough thinking style so this is the essence of the program this is what exactly we do in the 21 days it is done using the spiritual kriyas yoga meditation and chanting all the all the tools from the vedic spiritual tradition my monastery functions based on the age old spiritual wisdom of vedic tradition we are one of the most happening 
temple monastery complex in india in bangalore in southern part of india and of course we have branches all over the world even in ohio i have my temple run by my disciples and followers there is a temple in ohio nityananda vedic temple and you can visit that temple lot of free meditation programs happens you can help yourself even in our inner awakening website if you go deep you will find 108 different kriyas to heal yourself from different physical and mental disorders and the pranayama and kriyas breathing exercises breathing methods techniques to awaken the right intelligence thank you you are so welcome thank you i have a couple of questions i understand that one of your new little um tagline so to speak is awaken the right intelligence for your life yes what exactly do you mean by that see in the life actual problem for all of us is not powerlessness it is knowledgelessness whenever you feel powerless we all try to become powerful through various ways by more money more bank balance by more uh, relationships by more joy by more car by more houses we try to become powerful through all those methods but actually you can become powerful only with the right intelligence i always tell people your efforts to liberate yourself will never liberate yourself only the knowledge about the truth will liberate yourself your effort to empower yourself will never empower you, yourself only the right intelligence about power empowers yourself all our efforts will be failure to empower ourselves unless the right intelligence is experience so when i say right intelligence exact methodology and the definitions of what is powerlessness and what is feeling powerful right intelligence means right cognition right context that can use you and live your life unfortunately we try to use the right cognition and right context and there will always be a gap between us and the right cognition but if you understand bring intelligence the right cognition will start living through you it is like this simple example i'll give you how many times you try to tell yourself smoking is hazardous to health it is injurious to your health it is not good we will not be able to quit smoking we will be suffering to the addiction but the other way if you even once burn yourself in the fire you will never go near the fire because fire burns becomes your intelligence but smoking is not good for your health never becomes intelligence it stays as a cognition which with with which we struggle but if it becomes intelligence that intelligence uses us you can, i think you can understand the difference between these two example many time even if we know smoking is not good we will not be able to get rid of it because the it looks more like a knowledge cognition never it becomes part of us but 
if you burn your finger once in the fire fire burns you should have to keep away from the fire this becomes intelligence that intelligence starts living itself through you so making the right intelligence right cognition into right intelligence is what i call life is what i call inner awakening so this whole inner awakening the 21 day process is all about awakening awakening your right intelligence awakening your right cognition so that it can use you it can live through you thank you thank you for explaining that that's a beautiful explanation and just so that everybody understands that the link that they followed to get to this show for the live version of it you can follow that same link back to the show and listen to anything that you may not have um <clears throat> integrated all the way so be sure and follow the link back and re-listen to the show as many times as you would like um I'm just so excited and thrilled to be able to have these conversations and have you in the world to share this insight and wisdom with people. I feel like it really has a lot to do with people experiencing their life and making choices for themselves that allow for that intelligence to come through along with the experience that allows that intelligence to come through. It's such a beautiful way to present it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would also love to have you share with the people that are listening what is meditation for eternal bliss. Yes. I can say the first step towards meditation is completing with yourself and others all the incompletions we carry within us and others. we should spend little time go into all of that and whatever incompletions we are carrying by reliving them relieving them by reliving them completing with them that is the first step second balancing you are breathing by a very deep and slow inhaling and exhaling and the third let me expand on this word eternal bliss the experience of causeless excitement excitement for no reason is your innate nature it is the hangovers from a past moment memory or experience which is present inside you in incomplete form of fear guilt agony trauma pain etc is incompletion please understand reasonless excitement is your nature but the incompletions we carry from the past moments hangover from a past moment memory or experience which is present inside you as incomplete in the form of fear guilt agony trauma pain etc these are the incompletions stops us enjoying our natural state of causeless excitement when you complete completion means to complete the moments and memories of your past so that the past remains in you only as a informative tool and guides you but not as something which gives you heaviness 
of incompletion in the present moment and limits you in your understanding and journey of life responding to life so that is the first step completion second balancing of your breath third third step for your costless excitement the natural state of eternal bliss is unclutching unclutch from whatever you identify yourself as you because whatever inner image you carry will have some form of other incompletion so unclutch from everything you will see you relax into the space of eternal bliss you relax into the space of eternal bliss and from that space whatever you feel cognize makes you powerful makes your life powerful makes everyone around you blissful you carry the space of enlightenment and enriching so i tell you with that space of enlightenment and enriching i bless you and all our listeners especially susan for the great work you are doing my blessings for the good work you are doing and for your future so that you carry on with this work with spreading blessings from spirit to the whole world as i am also aware today is supposed to be your last show on this season and this series so i am so happy to be with you and all your listeners it is so nice from the space of enlightenment and enriching i support and bring you the blessings from spirit let you radiate enlightenment to the world doing this great work thank you anything else Thank you very much as well. <clears throat> Thank you for the blessings and yes it is my last show with USC. Uh but I will be continuing doing all of the work that I do and I posted that up in in the chat room and uh I will continue to have a show um on Blog Talk just not as often as I have been having it because I'm doing more speaking which is wonderful. So I'm very grateful and so very blessed to have you on this show with me and to receive your blessings and I bless you back and I'm very grateful for all of the uh wonderful work that you've shared with everyone this evening and that you will continue to share with the world. Yes. Is there anything else before uh as, as I as I heard everything up with you? Yes. As I heard you said you are doing more seeking. I would like to invite you as a guest to my inner awakening program. It will be so nice. we can we will we can have you in our program you will be my honored guest so i'll try to well, send you all the details and i am conducting the program every month i have a program in august in september in october in december you can participate in any one of the inner awakening as you are a seeker and because you already you have done a vast groundwork i can be sure you can catch this highest enlightenment experience just like that in this one program and i also thank all the show organizers and the listeners of this show living in the light for tuning in and being here joining with us thank you Well, thank you so much and that's a very spectacular invitation and I would be honored to be a part of that program. So thank you. Thank you. And everyone please be sure to go to inner awakening 
www.ohiomedicalsciences.org. And um, the people in Ohio, be sure and go to the banner that says Welcome Living in the Light Listeners, and you can register for the newsletter as well as check into the free meditation schedules and workshops uh, here in the Ohio area. And thank you again so very, very much. I really am just very grateful that you were on the show. Also, how can people listen to you on YouTube? I know that that was one of the things that's quite astounding, the number of listeners that you have that listen to you on YouTube. We have a, we have a YouTube channel, Life Bliss Foundation in YouTube channel. And there is a TV, Nityananda TV. If you go to our website, www.nityananda.org, Every day morning, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. India time, Indian Standard Time, I am doing live show every day, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. It is called Nitya Satsang. Means every day Nitya Satsang, eternal sitting with the truth, connecting with the truth. Every day I have a live, live show from morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Everyone can come and watch either through YouTube or through Nityananda TV by connecting to my website www.nityananda.org. My YouTube address is youtube.com slash Foundation. That's a YouTube channel. Every day my morning live show is recorded and uploaded in the YouTube also. I welcome all the listeners to see the everyday morning live show. Now in half an hour, in next half an hour, today's live show is going to start. You can log on to Nityananda TV by logging into our website www.nityananda.org. Thank you. Well, thank you so much and I hope that everybody uh, listens again to this show so that they're able to really, really hear and integrate all of the information. And uh, again, just thank you very much for being with us. And everyone that is listening, I am continuing my show until 11 as usual. So we'll be discussing some more wonderful topics and sharing with everybody who would like to call in. And thank you again, Swamiji. Thank and you. I'm very grateful. Thank and you. you have a wonderful you. day in India. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. You're Thank very, you. very welcome. Thank you. Blessings. Thank Be blissful. You.